I was drinking and drinking every day, taking heroin, crack, everything, but I've been doing this all my life, and then having my mother travel all around the country from a young age, you know, coming to visit his son in prison, and all them friends, oh, I'm going to see him again today, but he's my son, I've got to, you know. You know, I've knocked the door Christmas Day, and there's all the family then, like, not allowed in there, you know, and... And I know why, because they don't have to hide their jewellery and their money. And, you know, I used to go in there and I'd find my mum's, when I was pinching money, find the handbag in the washing machine. She shouldn't have to do that, should she? Are you building bridges and you get... Yeah, speaking to them, we're talking, you know, and, and it was nice. I was in there at the end of the week and the handbag was on the side of the unit and it was nice. It's like, I'd, I'm not worried anymore. I'm not, you know, she's not worried I'm not dipping her handbag, you know, or she didn't. I'm not making an excuse like, oh, if I don't have 200 pounds a day, I'm going back to prison for my fines. There was no fines. But she gave me the money to keep me out of prison. Yeah. But it was for drugs, yeah. you know, for the heroin and that. <clears throat> I'm on a methadone program now. Um, I've had negative, you know, samples with no heroin in my system now for or since I've been at this hostel, I'm reducing my methadone and that. My future's bright at the minute, I'm looking forward to it.